This video will be about kidney stones. Kidney stones are stones that form in the kidney. The signs and symptoms of kidney stones. We have pain in the flank, needing to pee frequently, blood in the urine, as well as nausea and vomiting. There are different kinds of kidney stones. Here are the three most common, calcium oxalate, ammonium magnesium phosphate, and uric acid. Calcium oxalate is the culprit for about 66% of cases. Now the big question, how do they get in there? First, we have to recognize that the kidneys collect and filter out waste circulating in our blood. Kidney stones form when there's not enough water to dissolve all the waste in the pee. This can be explained simply as either two scenarios, too much stuff in the urine, not enough water in the urine. The worst case is both. Let's start with too much stuff. Foods, such as meat, are rich in protein. When the body breaks down the protein for fuel, it results in the production of urea. Urea is one of the waste products that's removed by the kidney. Like urea, salt is removed from the body by the kidney. There are diseases that increase the amount of stuff in the body that are filtered out by the kidney. One example is hyperparathyroidism, which increases the amount of calcium in the blood that will later be filtered by the kidney. There are also diseases that release calcium from bones and into the blood. Simply enough, if you don't drink water, or if you stay out in the sun for too long, you won't have enough water to dissolve all the waste products. And lastly, there are bacteria that make your urine less acidic. This makes dissolving waste in the urine more difficult. Two problems with kidney stones. One, kidney stones cause a decrease in the flow of urine from the kidneys. This results in a stagnant fluid. Stagnant fluids are a breeding ground for bacteria. Thus, your risk of urinary tract infection is higher. Also, having kidney stones over a long period of time causes a lot of damage to the kidneys and bladder. This will increase your risk of bladder cancer. So, how do we know if you're having a kidney stone? There are several diseases that also cause pain, blood in the urine, and vomiting. Therefore, we run tests. First, we check the blood to see how much stuff like calcium there is. We can also check how well the kidneys are filtering the blood. We will also look at the urine to check the number of red blood cells and the amount of waste. We can also inspect for any bacteria. In addition, we will do either a CT scan or an ultrasound to see where any stones might be in the urinary tract, as well as the size of the stones. Now, let's discuss getting the stones out. The treatment is based on the size and type of stone. For small stones, treatment is a matter of drinking plenty of water, taking medications for pain, and nausea medications, as well as patients. Small stones take a few hours to pass. For large stones that are larger than one centimeter, treatment will involve surgery. The idea is that a tube will be put through the tract that urine travels. Then, using a basket at the end of the tube, the stone is pulled out. There are medications that make the urinary tract wider, allowing the stone to have an easier time coming out. Once everything is said and done, your doctor may give you medications that reduce the amount of waste products in the blood in the urine. Also, if there were any bacteria found in the urine sample, then your doctor will give you antibiotics to fight the infection. Overall, as usual, watch what you eat and drink plenty of water. Thank you for watching.